From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of cultures, traditions, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking youth's rights on the path of development. Namaskar viewers, welcome back to another episode of My India. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra and in today's episode, we're going to offer you a glimpse into India's cultures, diversity, along with the developments happening in and around the world. Festivals in India are a part of people's lifestyle that brings joy and positivity. Recently, India celebrated the Diwali festival, also referred to as Deepavali. The festival holds cultural as well as religious significance, which not only binds families and society as one, but also inspires mankind to always choose the right. Let's have a look. Festivities in India are a way to preserve its age-old traditional values and ancient culture. Festivals not only bring enthusiasm and strengthen the bond of the community, but also reinforce their significance among the younger generations. The festival of light, Diwali, often called the Pavali, was recently observed in India and around the world. The name the Pavali comes from the Sanskrit words Deepa and Avli, which means light and row. The Diwali festival is celebrated in the Hindu lunar month of Kartik on the darkest of nights, which usually falls between mid October and November. The festival is considered auspicious as people celebrate new beginnings and prosperity. तो अच्छा मौका है शुभ माना जाता है तो मेरे को पसंद आया मैंने दो तीन चेन पसंद करी है मम्मा के लिए भी मम्मी भी शॉपिंग करने आई है यहाँ पे धनतेरस के दिन यही माना जाता है कि हम लोग जो है आज के दिन गोल्ड वगैरह ये खरीदें और ये लाना घर में शुभ माना जाता है एक लक्ष्मी घर में आज के दिन आनी चाहिए उससे यही मान्यता है कि धन धान्य घर में आता है The five-day long festivity begins with Dhanteras, a day on which people purchase new utensils, jewellery, property and vehicles and worship Lord Dhanvantari for prosperity. The next day is Narak Chaturthi. On the following day, people celebrate the victory of the Hindu god Krishna over the demon Narkasur by taking an oil bath to cleanse themselves from negativity. Apparently, the third day marks the main day of the festival, also known as Lakshmi Puja. People decorate their homes with colourful designs using colourful powder called Rangoli, along with diyas to welcome Goddess Lakshmi and Ganesh. Every year, uh, this is one festival that we all come together, no matter what, wherever we are. We come together and we celebrate this uh, festival so well. The Diwali festival is also led by the bursting of crackers and fireworks at night. Meanwhile, devotees worship the idols of goddess Lakshmi and Ganesh for prosperity and peace of their families. According to Hindu mythology, on this day, Lord Ram returned to his kingdom Ayodhya after the exile of 14 years and his homecoming was celebrated with lightning of earthen lamps. Moreover, People around Indian states hold exhibitions and organize Diwali fairs where artisans as well as craftsmen show their creativity. आज के दिन में यही दुआ मांगा हिंदू मुसलमानों में आपस में घर पर भाईचारा रहे प्यार रहे आपस में दिवाली के दिन हम दिया पटा के फोड़ते हैं और दिया बन बन जलाते हैं खाना बनाते हैं अच्छा अच्छा और एक दूसरे को बांटते हैं प्यार मोहब्बत आपस में प्यार करके बैठते हैं The fourth day of Deepavali is Govardhan Puja when people worship Lord Krishna and Govardhan by mounting cow dungs in their homes as a thanksgiving. The last day of Diwali celebrates Bhai Dooj dedicated to brothers and sister. On this day brothers visit their sisters and offer them gifts which symbolize their love and affection for them. A festival like Diwali is crucial to mankind as this not only brings families together but also inspires one to pursue the right path by helping those in need. 
Such festivals provide a platform to the traditional craftsmen as well as who take this as an opportunity to display their creativity while binding for a fair amount of their livelihood. Moving on, animal lovers celebrated the Kukur Tihar or Kukur Puja festival in West Bengal during Diwali to honor dogs. Offering prayers to dogs, enthusiastic people applied tilak on their foreheads. Animal lovers also cooked special food for the pets and stray dogs following the rituals. People celebrated the unique festival dedicated to the guardian and messenger of Yamraj, the Lord of Death. Have a look. Dogs are sometimes referred to a man's best friend because they provide valuable companionship for the humans. While the entire country and some parts of the world were busy celebrating Diwali, the biggest festival of lights, an animal shelter in Siliguri celebrated dogs, the furry and loyal companions to all. The organization was named Animal Helpline. The initiative was undertaken to celebrate dogs and promote their adoption into good homes. Kukurtihar, translating to the worship of gods, was celebrated by the people of West Bengal during Diwali. People in West Bengal Siliguri offered prayers and honored dogs on the occasion of Kukurtihar at the Street Dog Rescue Center. This is a mini festival with a larger Hindu celebration of Diwali, the Festival of Lights. हर साल छोटी दिवाली के दिन कुकुर तैयार होता है क्योंकि ये नेपाल का उत्सव है स्पेशली नेपाल में लोग मनाते हैं और अभी इंडिया में भी बहुत लोग मनाते हैं और हम लोग हर साल ये छह साल हो रहा है रनिंग कि हम लोग हर साल मनाते हैं क्योंकि क्योंकि हम लोग इन लोगों के साथ ही काम करते हैं एनिमल्स के साथ ही हम लोगों का उठना बैठना काम सब कुछ है तो इन लोगों के लिए एक स्पेशल डे जहां इन लोगों को पैम्पर किया जाता है पूजा किया जाता है थोड़ा सा स्पेशल फील किया किया जाता है तो वो हमारे लिए भी बहुत स्पेशल है और हम लोग बहुत खुश होते हैं आज के दिन में और हम लोग बहुत उत्साह के साथ ये दिन हम लोग हर साल के लिए मनाते हैं ड्यूरिंग दिन दॉग्स आर ट्रीटेड विद स्पेशल लव एंड एडमिरेशन Each one gets a flower garland or mala placed around their neck. The foreheads are painted with a paste named tilak or tikka made from red colored powder, rice and yogurt. They are also served with sweets and their favorite food. Kukur Tihar is purely dedicated to dogs who are considered as the guardian and messenger of Yamraj, the lord of death. In Hindu mythology, Yamraj has two dogs which accompany a soul on its final journey upon death. These dogs are named Shyam and Sabal. Hence, by worshiping dogs, death itself is viewed in a positive light since these are the creatures that become a soul's companion in the final journey. कुकुर तिहार एक फेस्टिवल है जैसे हम लोग भगवान को पूछते हैं हर साल एक कोई ना कोई फेस्टिवल आता है जैसे हम लोग भगवान को पूछते हैं उसमें आज हम लोग स्ट्रीट डॉग्स को हमारे डॉग्स को पूज रहे हैं क्योंकि ये भी हमारे समाज का एक अभिन्न अंग है सब लोग तो भगवान का पूजा करता ही है साल भर इसलिए आज उन लोगों का स्पेशल डे हम लोग उन लोगों का स्पेशल डे सेलिब्रेट कर रहे हैं इन दी स्पिरिट ऑफ कुकुर तिहार पीपल एक्सप्रेस प्रेस एंड शो रेवरेंस टू डॉग्स एक्सटेंडिंग दी ऑनर नॉट ओनली टू पेट डॉग्स बट ऑल्सो टू स्ट्रे डॉग्स A renowned animal lovers organization in Siliguri celebrated Kukur Tihar with great fervor. The NGO also prepared special food for these stray dogs to give them a nice treat on the festival. The cannons are adorned with garlands, tikas are applied to their foreheads and they are treated to abundant food offerings as part of the celebration. Kukur means dog and Tihar means to worship. Hence The name literally means worshiping dogs. This Hindu festival, which is primarily celebrated in Nepal, is also known as Narak Chaturdashi. In Nepal, it is celebrated for 5 days and is the second largest festival in the country. And now, some of the stories that made news recently. Sikh devotees on November 12 assembled at the Holy Sikh Shrine of Golden Temple in India's northern Amritsar city to commemorate Bandi Chhod Divas Day of Liberation. 
Hundreds of devotees were seen offering prayers and taking dip in the holy pond. Bandi Chhod Divas celebrates the release of 52 princes imprisoned by Mughal Emperor Jahangir in October 1619 by Sikh Sixth Guru Guru Hargobind. After the release, Guru Hargobind arrived in Amritsar in the midst of Diwali, the Hindu festival of lights. Since then, the day has been associated with liberation. Numerous earthen lamps were lit in the Teetwal hamlet in Jammu and Kashmir's Kupwara district as Diwali was celebrated for the first time at Mata Sharda Devi Temple in the last 75 years, the organizer of the event claimed. Prayers on the occasion were also performed in the temple, which is now reconstructed in the area on the line of control. After performing the Diwali rituals, the people gathered outside the temple and burst firecrackers. The ancient temple and its centre were rebuilt with a view to revive centuries-old pilgrimage to Sharda Peet Temple in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. Sharda Peet is an abandoned temple located in Sharda village along the Neelam River, which was a major centre of learning. It is regarded as one of the 18 highly revered temples across South Asia. Marking the celebrations of Diwali and commemorating the victory of good over evil, people in Panaji, Goa burnt an effigy of demon Narkasur. People gathered in large numbers to witness the event. One of the idol makers said, It took us 15 to 16 days to create this Narkasur effigy. We had started making this effigy on the day of the Shehra. It is made totally out of silver. Narkasur celebration is not only a cultural tradition, but also a spiritual lesson for the generations to come. It reminds one of the importance of fighting against injustice and oppression and upholding the values of truth and righteousness. It also teaches one to celebrate life with joy and gratitude and shared happiness. Narkasur celebration is a festival that showcases the diversity and unity of India's culture. It is a festival that honors the past, celebrates the present and inspires the future. Moving on, India's fashion industry is evolving with the consumer's demographics as it has witnessed a gradual shift in shopper behaviour. People now are emphasising more on branded clothes than previously. With that comes the kids' fashion industry which is booming currently. Going beyond the old conventions, parents these days are bidding for branded clothes. Have a look. Your body behaves differently when you look fashionable. You look confident. In today's world, who doesn't want to look confident? Guess, almost everyone. With that, the fashion industry has been growing at a promising rate today and India once again is at the forefront compared to other countries. Not only for adults, but this time, the clothing industry has gone beyond the conventions to fetch something elegant for kids as well. The people in India have gradually seemed to be shifting their preference towards wearing brands. Apparently, we see a lot of increasing interest in parents and families for fashion who are keenly dressing their children in stylish clothing. The Sharma family of Delhi's Krishna Nagar is one such example of many families who, going beyond societal stereotypes, have embraced market trends and are styling their three-year-old kid, Abir, in fashionable clothes. My ch child is very fond of branded clothes and uh, he always prefer H&M, Zara and guess brand clothes. Uh, these brands uh, are very uh, associated with the soft material and uh, these clothes are last long, durable and uh, obviously uh, we prefer these types of clothes with the good track record of reliability and durability. So that's why we prefer branded clothes for kids. A notion suggests the reason behind the expansion of the kids' clothing industry is a result of rapid urbanization. 
As India is pacing towards development, the Indian market is quickly responding to the customers' preferences by offering them a variety of options. In this context, Abhi's father and grandmother talk about how the market has gradually evolved from their childhood to now and how people have become more aware of brands these days. When I was young, we didn't have branded clothes. Then we used to purchase these local clothes. Now when the kids come, they have needs that we wear this, we wear that, we wear branded clothes. At that time, there were no brands. बहुत ही मुझे हरानी होती देख के हमारे जब छोटे बच्चे थे तो ये कपड़े नहीं देखते थे कुछ नहीं करते थे और ना सोचते थे आजकल छोटे बच्चे भी कहते हैं मैं ये पसंद करता हूँ ब्रांडेड कपड़े उनको भी बहुत अच्छे लगते हैं और हमें देने में भी बहुत अच्छे लगते हैं Moreover, social media has a big role in shaping the decisions of both purchasers and sellers while taking brands into consideration, citing their quality and durability during shopping and designing clothes as the purchaser's comfort. To support a buyer-seller interface, recently the capital city of India, New Delhi organized the 78th edition of Junior's Fashion Week, which showed a number of emerging kids' clothing brands such as Lee Cooper, Malio, One Friday, Nike and many more. The fashion show showcased kids' ramp walking, donning everything from classic jeans with training cards to stylish denim jackets and from floral print dresses to simple yet stylish hoodie t-shirts and trousers. When we used to see there, there were different brands for adults, but we could, you know, we used to find very less brands for kids. But when we see now, there are different, uh, you know, adults brands who have come up with their kids segment as well, like Lee Cooper. They have, they have their whole range of kids, like for girls as well as for boys. So they have started their own because they have got very good response from the clients that they want to go ahead with their kids for the same brand. And uh, it is like, obviously, the, the fashion is oh, it's growing for the kids as well as for, you know, obviously for adults it was there, but for kids as well it is growing and kids are very much fashion centric these days as well as they are also looking for their, you know, their own uh, way of uh, walking plus their own, they, they have their own fashion sense these days. The kids' wear market is predominantly unorganized, capturing huge volumes and growing at a rapid rate with lots of changes in the design, taste and trends. According to research studies, India's kids' fashion industry has been growing rapidly and is valued at 21.24 billion US dollars in 2023. The anticipated growth forecast is also expected to reach a compound annual growth rate of 4.23% by 2029. With the fusion of traditional influences and global market trends, India's branded kids clothing market is evolving and expanding at a high pace, bringing opportunities for both domestic and international brands. What we are giving in the market is something really this kind of fusion of a lot of things and yeah, Mulio is working on different things that, that are coming here in the market. The Indian market for uh, kids apparel is uh, booming at the moment, it's flourishing as you know the kids of today are getting more and more discerning, they have their own choices, preferences and they are very well aware due to uh, the exposure that they have towards social media and digital media. So the kids themselves in today's time choose for uh, choose their own apparel, their own looks, their own styles. So the industry is at, uh, at a pinnacle at the moment wherein everyone is embracing the trend. People are curating and designing stuff specifically for children. Parents today have become more fashion conscious as they want their children to look smarter like other kids. On the other side, children have their own decisions and preferences for clothes. They go for easy going dresses that are fit for play and rest. These factors are becoming the driving force behind the rise of the India's kids' fashion industry in the past few years. And now, some of the stories from the recent developments and happenings 
from around the world in our section of World in Focus. The Beatles returned to the top of the UK music charts on November 10 with the record-breaking track Now and Then, making history as the act with the longest gap between its first and last number one single. Built as the last Beatles song, Now and Then features the voice of late member John Lennon and was developed using artificial intelligence. It also features parts recorded by surviving members Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr as well as the late George Harrison. The group's 18th UK number one hit, it brings the Beatles back to the top of the official singles chart 60 years after the group's first number one single, From Me To You. The feat also extends the Beatles record as the British act with the most UK number one singles in official charts history. The song is the fastest selling single of the year to date in Britain, with 48,600 physical and download sales based on its first seven days the official charts company said. London's Battersea Power Station marked the opening of its popular festive ice rink with an evening for invited guests. The ice rink named Glide is composed of three interconnecting rings with a large Christmas tree as its centerpiece. Revelers can also ride a festive carousel present at the site as well as book Lift 109, a glass elevator that takes visitors to the top of the landmark's chimney to offer a 360-degree view of London's skyline. The 1930s power station once supplied a fifth of London's electricity, including to Buckingham Palace and Parliament, but it is better known for featuring alongside a floating inflatable pig on the cover of the Pink Floyd's 1977 album Animals. The once derelict site has now been redeveloped into offices, shops and apartments. The electric sports car developer and manufacturer Rimac is racing forwards by going backwards. The Croatian manufacturer sets a new record for an electric car with its Nevera reaching a top speed of 275.74 km per hour in reverse. Unlike an internal combustion engine car or even some electric cars, the drivetrain of the Nevera has no gears. The four individual motors either go backwards or forwards. Witnessed by Guinness World Records and verified using data measured by Devisoft, the Nevera now officially holds the Guinness World Records title for the fastest speed in reverse. Test driver Goran Derndak scored the record for Rimac surpassing the previous backward driving record set in 2001. And lastly, let's take you to the annual Terracotta exhibition held in the nation's temple city, Bhubaneswar. The annual Terracotta exhibition featured a wide range of clay products such as terracotta vases, wall hangings, statues and so on. The exhibition also embraced live demonstrations of how they are manufactured in order to encourage aspiring artists and increase awareness about Odisha's rich tradition of craftsmanship. Have a look. Bhuvaneswar is one of the famed cities of Odisha. The Temple City of India recently hosted the annual Terracotta exhibition Mrutika at the Ekmara Hat. The exhibition has become a much-anticipated event in the city, showcasing the craftsmanship of artisans who have dedicated their lives to preserving this ancient art form. Terracotta is one of the approved crafts of the state, mostly practiced by the traditional kumbhakars and trained youths almost in every district. There are more than 10,000 terracotta artisans in the state who are producing traditional decorative and utility terracotta-based items. The event served as the unique platform for consumers to connect with artisans and learn about the process of terracotta craft. This terracotta exhibition is Murti Ka, which is here every year. यहाँ की स्पेशलिटी ये है यहाँ पे बहुत तरह के हमें वासिस मिलते हैं मिट्टी के दीपक मिलते हैं घर को सजावट करने के लिए हमें पॉट्स मिल जाते हैं स्टैचुज मिल जाते हैं 
और ये ये सब चीज़ों की खासियत ये है ये गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से लगता है जैसा कि ये एग्जीबिशन है तो ये बहुत हमें कम दाम में मिलते हैं और यहाँ के जो आसपास के लोकल जो लोग हैं उन्हें बहुत एक्सपोजर मिलता है In recent years there has been a growing emphasis on sustainable and eco-friendly celebrations as a result artisans from across the state displayed handmade diyas and terracotta crafts kitchen ware to home decors for city residents visitors explored a stunning array of handcrafted terracotta products showcasing the artisan skills and creativity amid the sustainability buzz Terracotta diyas have gained popularity for their eco-friendly and intricate designs. Residents are not only purchasing earthen diyas but also exploring a wide range of terracotta gift items and home decor. The versatility of terracotta allows artisans to create everything from intricate lamps to alluring figurines. Pehle hum banate the, gaon mein bechte the. अभी हमारा उड़ीसा गवर्नमेंट ने ये महफिल दिया हमको बेचने के लिए जगा दिया तो हम बेच रहे हैं अच्छा सेलिंग हो रहा है एज मेनी एज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव स्टॉल है फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी सिक्स डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन दिस एग्जिबिशन अ वाइड रेंज ऑफ आइटम्स इंक्लूडिंग क्ले आइडल्स ऑफ गॉड्स एंड गॉडेसेस टेरिकोटा वासेस वॉल हैंगिंग स्टैच्यूज डेकोरेटिव लैम्प cutlery sets water bottles and jewelry were on display at the exhibition the government of odisha in handloom textiles and handicrafts department is providing promotional support for growth of the handicraft sector including market assistance by organizing exhibitions the state organizes a wide range of development programs engaging designers from inside and outside in order to produce market oriented products the exclusive annual expo is being hosted by the department since 2006 to provide a platform to boost the identity of every individual artisan that's all we have for you this week your comments and suggestions are important to us do give us your feedback on myindia@ani.com i'm your host pratiksha mishra and it's a goodbye from the entire production team